When fluoride started uh, introduced into the water, everyone felt that it strengthens the kid's teeth while they're developing under the gums. For years, that's what the dental community accepted as uh, why fluoride worked. Now we know that it's, um, it's not only for children's teeth uh, or when the teeth are developing, but it also, it works mostly by bathing the teeth after they're already in the mouth. So fluoride isn't only for kids, it's for all ages. It literally prevents tooth decay from birth through old age. As long as you have teeth and you're using fluoride on them, they're protected. In the case of fluoride, the, the, the major health consequence that we look at is fluorosis, which when we go back to the history of fluoride, we knew that if you have too much fluoride, you can develop staining of the teeth, but it's actually uh, fluorosis in its most common form is very faint white markings. Uh, unless you were a dentist, most people wouldn't even notice um, what fluorosis looks like. We know now that because people are getting not only fluoride from water, but kids swallowing their toothpaste, which has a lot of fluoride in it, um, those are the two biggest sources. The other thing about that is um, if, you, if we're talking about fluorosis, it's only something that can occur when the teeth are developing under the gums. So it's basically children from age zero through about age six. After that, once the teeth are in the mouth, fluoride has literally no effect on a person developing fluorosis. That's all in the first six years of life. If you're worried about fluorosis as a parent, it's basically helping your child with their toothbrushing, making sure they get a very small amount of toothpaste on the brush, and then trying to make sure they don't swallow it which is a difficult thing to do, but uh, you just have to advise your kids and make sure they spit out the toothpaste rather than swallowing it.